You know, you might find this hard to believe, but it wasn't all that long ago that right where I'm walking here, kids were splashing about, people were being towed behind ski boats. It was even a good place to wet a line and catch a fish or two. Take a look at it now. Not much more than a scary reminder of just how hard drought has hit certain parts of our state. I'm about an hour and a half west of Brisbane at Atkinson's Dam, these days known as Atkinson's Paddock. But it's not all doom and gloom. This still is a beautiful place. And while you might be leaving the rods at home, I can always find something to amuse myself. Oh, yes. Got onto that. Well done. See, mate, I promised you I'd bring you to a course with no water hazards. My playing partner is Andrew Dean. He's a regular out here at the Atkinson's Dam Cabin Village and he's invited me out for a hit from what were once waterfront campsites. Come on, we better go and get them. Bring that with you. There's some very long rough down there. Yeah, I don't think mine made it to the rough. <laughs> I was looking forward to get back up to the clubhouse. Yeah, what, yours or mine? Both Andrew and I are just back from a couple of long-haul camping adventures and I wanted to swap a few stories about how the Trackabout camper trailers handle the tracks. Although my two and a half thousand kilometre off-road bash through central Queensland gave our trailer a fair workout, Andrew really put his through the ringer on a mammoth 20,000 kilometre round Australia adventure. And you, you found it to be a comfortable experience, good way to travel? Oh definitely, yeah for sure. But what, uh, for what we want to do, uh, like caravans are great, tents are great, they've all got their pros and cons. And, yeah. But uh, for us and the things we want to do and the places we want to see, this is going to take us everywhere. Yeah. The go anywhere drive of these things is certainly something that I can vouch for. Even after 10 days on rough outback roads, our camper trailer took everything we threw at it. I remember we had one day, we were, uh, I think we were in the Diamantina National Park. We had a couple of go cars go through a, uh, a bit of a boggy section. And the lead vehicle, the scout vehicle, got bogged. There they're going, take the trailer off. There's no way in the world you're going to get through. And I thought for a laugh I'd give it a crack. And uh, yeah, the bloke in the 100 series was uh, just a little surprised when we got through with the trailer. Straight, the end. Yeah. straight through. Although our trailer's pretty bog stock, Andrew's had the track about boys do a bit of custom work to his, like these heavy duty levelling jacks and the solar setup. And plans are already in the works to mount a tinny on top for his next big trip up to the Cape. To check out the range of track about trailers, give them a call or drop into the factory at Slacks Creek. Or if it's just a quiet campsite that you're after, then you can get a spot here at the cabin village from just nine bucks a night. The steak's not as good as your golf hitting, mate, and that's not saying much. 